Hi, uh, Vircon is a uh, disinfectant that people use to treat bacterial infections and viruses in their pond. And um, because it's a disinfectant, I'm interested in the impact it can have on your biological filter. Because as with any treatments, that can be a really detrimental impact of using it in your pond, uh, particularly if you use it a lot and it can uh, affect the um, amount of nitrites and ammonia. So this test is all about uh, the extent to which it reduces the effectiveness of your biological filter. Um, so let's get into the experiment. So what we're going to use here is household ammonia. Now normally when I do these experiments I use water that's been dechlorinated through carbon. I don't use um, a dechlorinator because that affects the ammonia test. Um, it basically uh, makes it look like there's no ammonia in the water where you use uh, the um, uh, dechlorinator, so just something to be aware of. But uh, what I've done here is I've taken water out of my pond because I know there's, um, there's going to be biological uh, aspects and, and organics that are going to react with the potassium permanganate and if I put it into tap water there wouldn't be that, um, that level of biological material in the water for it to react with which may, may make it worse attacking the media than it would be in the actual pond. So what I've done is I've taken the water out of the pond, put it in a bucket, I've aerated it overnight with some media in there to remove all the ammonia and nitrite, then I, I've tested um, how much nitrite and ammonia was in the water and it's come out at um, zero. So uh, I've then added some ammonia, tested the water again, we've got about one milligram of uh, ammonia in there and we've got zero nitrite. So we're all ready to go with the experiment. What I'm going to do now is add the Vircon and potassium permanganate, then add the media and we'll set this running. So Vircon isn't cheap, it's £30 here for the pack, although you do get quite a lot of tablets in there. Uh, they're a bit like Alka-Seltzer, uh, when you put them in the water they dissolve, although perhaps not as well as Alka-Seltzer, so I, I, I tend to break them up using um, a stick and crush them over time um, to, uh, to speed up the process, otherwise it can take quite a while. So I'm going to mix this all in and then I'm going to add uh, the right amount to bring my sample up to the same level as if I'd put one tablet in 5,000 litres of water. So um, I'll do that in a moment. So I'm going to add two millilitres of this to my sample. And that will bring it up to the right concentration. I'm doing that before I put the media in there so that it doesn't give the media a, a shock um, where it hasn't been mixed in properly. Next one is potassium permanganate. I'm going to use a new pipette for this and I've mixed this up as well. Get just the right amount for 1.5 millilitres. There, so I'll put that in and let that mix up as well. Next I'm going to put in two bits of media in each and let them go to work. So it's results time, we've got a pretty clear result here. The control only took three days to completely remove all the nitrites uh, and uh, the Vircon and potassium permanganate uh, took five days to remove it, although at day four the Vircon looks like it was uh, a bit ahead of the potassium permanganate, so that perhaps did it in four and a half days, whereas the potassium permanganate ran a little bit later. So um, uh, all three are pretty similar when it comes to the ammonia removal, although it does appear that there's a slightly more yellow colour on the control on day two than the other two. Uh, but the clear message here is that Vircon does impair your biological filter to some degree uh, and um, to a similar magnitude as potassium permanganate. Uh, so we need to bear that in mind when we're using it on our fish. Uh, I haven't tested how effective Vircon is at um, removing undesirable bacteria uh, or viruses or any uh, parasites, so I, I uh, can't comment on that. Uh, but, uh, but this does highlight that we do need to be careful using this treatment uh, because it will affect the, the filter. I'll see you on the next video.